Now for the last race of the weekend on the Belgian circuit here in Zolder. Now it's time for the Elite One. The fans are eagerly awaiting. Alan Day, number 54, will start in pole after making the fastest lap in race one. He is ahead of his teammates Eddie Cheever III and Anthony Kumpen. Ander Villarino, the 2012 and 2013 NASCAR champion, starts fifth. For this 16-lap race, the game is simple. Alan Day, number 54, has to win and he'll want Ander Villarino to bail out at some point. The PK Carsport team knows this track very well. Longin and Kumpen will want to finish the season on a high note, while Frédéric Gabillon, fourth in the grid, will try to take a win for him and his team. Let's go for the last race of the season for the Elite One division. Alan Day does the whole shot ahead of Chiva the third and Kempen. Let's ride on board with Gabion on the outside. But he stays fourth. Alan Day is first ahead of Eddie Chiva the third. Anthony Kempen, Frederick Gabion on board again behind the Belgian. And look at that, the Belgian, the reigning champion, has understood that Gabion was uh, really on it. He defends his position. On board with Day, the race leader, the man to beat this weekend. Israeli leads ahead of Chiva the third. Both Cal Racing drivers are really, really at ease as well. In Zolder, on board with Kempen in third. Before the last chicane. And at the end of the opening lap, Ande starts to build a good margin on a trio of drivers formed by Chiva the third, Kempen and Gabion. Let's ride on board with Villarino in sevens. And look at that! The smoke ahead, Bert Longin seems to have missed his breaking point and off he goes. The Belgian will not win at home. Day, the number 54, continues to open the gap over Chiva the third. The Italian has to be careful with Kempen and Gabion behind him. Shouldn't be easy. Not an easy life for Chiva the third. On board with Gabion behind Kempen and Chiva the third tries to reduce the gap. Not that easy as well. The ADV competition driver is really fast, but not fast enough this year to drop the title. Nothing is done at the moment for the second place. Kempen and Chiva the third are opening a small gap over Gabion. And Kempen tries to uh, overtake Chiva the third, but it's not uh, as easy as it seems. And they is just mastering the, the truck here, Talam and Sikit. And after eight laps, Villarino is in fifth already, some miles behind Gabion. If the race would finish now, Villarino would secure another title. Here is the 2012 and 2013 champion, maybe a uh, three-time champion. We will see. Back with the second place battle. Chiva the third, Anthony Kempen. The Belgian didn't give up his hopes to overtake the Italian. He finished third in race one, but certainly wants to improve this result in race two. On board with Gabion. He can't match the rhythm from Kempen and Chiva the third. Let's take a look to the Challenger Trophy. Philippe Leeds, number 67, is doing well with the spare car. He's uh, ninth overall behind Renauer and Busena. The Austrian is leading the Challenger Trophy ahead of his teammate, Dominic Tirok. Tirok currently fighting for position against Martin Dobek. The number 15. He's really defending well his position against T-Rock. 
Roman Yeneta currently six, but doesn't seem to be able to catch the leaders. Or even Villarino as well. His teammate is just ahead. If he stays six, he would be fourth in the standings behind Kempen. So he has to overtake at least Villarino. Let's come back to the leaders behind Day, of course, with Chiva the third, Kempen, Gabion, and Villarino. Villarino on board with him. The Spaniard just behind Gabion. Maybe so, Anthony Kempen breaking hard. Locking his brakes at the chicane. Another easy ch chicane as well. Again, campaign. And Gabion. Villarino is closing the gap on Gabion, it seems. Before the, the chicane, the Villeneuve chicane. Oh, huge slide for Villarino! He slows down! Will he have to retire and leave the title to Alan Day? It would be a huge surprise. Apparently, it seems to work again for the Spaniard. Oh no, he's very slow in the chicane. Very slow in these laps. His teammate Yaneta is closing on him. That's for sure, we can see the number 7 just behind the number 2. And he gets past Villarino. What's wrong on the number 2 car? Villarino has just slowed down and Ayaneta has just... ...benefiting from everything. Up front, the battle is going on between Chiva the third, Campen and Gabion. Gabion is still fighting, but the pace is outstanding at the top of the field. The 2013 runner-up cannot do anything against Chief III and the reigning champion, Kempen. Last lap for the leader, Alan Day, who heads on to a third. Kaya win. He's really, really the man to beat in the playoffs. And it's done. Alan Day is the winner ahead of Chiva the Third, Kempen and Gabion. Let's see the last chicane for Under Villarino who has been able to finish the race despite his problems on track. Fortunately, we would say for the TFT driver. Well done Under, you're the best. We took the crown back. It was for us this year. That's great. Thanks man. What a race. Sorry for the technical problems, but nice race. Two cars in the top three on the overall classification for the team. It's great. And they take another win to sweep the American Festival Circuit Zolder NASCAR Finals weekend and bring home the Jerome Saron Junior Trophy, the Rookie of the Year award. As we can say, Eddie Chiva III finishes second ahead of Anthony Kempen. Thanks to his solid fifth place, Villarino ends a perfect season and conquers his third NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series title in four years. Anande celebrates in the pits. His third career win in NASCAR is on the top of his car and top of his game. Well, it's amazing, you know, to have two, two pole positions, two wins. It's an amazing feeling. We just perfect weekend. I cannot ask for more than that. There is never easy win. If you win, it means you did uh, really hard work, you know. And this win maybe look look a bit easy, but we worked really hard in practice and qualifying. We really worked hard, everybody in the team, every person worked really, really hard to bring the car to this situation that he can win. That third is okay, but uh, it was my home race. I wanted to win, but uh, we had some bad luck in qualifying and the uh, free practice, we were fastest. That's a really difficult track to pass, so... Um, so uh, started in third, finished in third. Only in the start you can uh, take positions. So uh, it was a good race, the car was good, but uh, we had bad luck in quali. Next year we will do better. We come back and we will fight again for the championship. But the only thing that counts is place number one, so the rest is not so important. Alan Day takes the win here, the third time in his career. The Israeli made the sweep over the weekend and once again joins Eddie Chiva III and Antti Kumpen on the podium.
Villarino is the 2015 champion, while Alan Day ends his first NASCAR season a good second place in the final standings. Villarino's teammate, Roman Iannetta, number seven, finishes third on points ahead of Kumpen, the reigning champion. Yeah.